Okay, so right now we're at a completely brand new place. Again, we've never done this, so let's see how good it is. Okay, well, Emma and Dad are checking something out. We're just gonna walk along the creek. Look for good spots. Whoa. Look. It's crazy. Nice. Okay. Okay, so let's go over here, see, this seems like a good spot. So, I think, I think Dad went this way. Hey, Dad. Ooh. Okay, so we found Dad. He thinks we found a good spot, yeah? These around where we are right now are some pretty oh heavy horse trails. Mm. You can definitely smell that a horse has been through here. Ooh. So, looks like we found a good place. Well, look at this. Yeah. So you see these big horse rocks? Mm-hmm. All this is washing out of the bank right here. Yeah. And there's quartz all along it. So you think it might be a good spot? Guaranteed that this material has never been worked before. Guaranteed? Right. Yeah, because it's just now coming out of the bank. Right? Yeah. So we've got these, you can see the different layers. Up here you've got all the mud. And then you've got some gravel. And then here's our false clay layer. But then down here you see you've got here all this stuff. See that? And this oh. is like, some of this is okay, bedrock, some of it's just, you know, junk. But not all of it. Cool. Well, it's just that these, like I said, I guarantee that this material right here has never been worked. Anything is because this is all just falling off. Right. So. All right. But you also get weird pieces like this. Is that even material? Well, it's all. It's like one big concretion. So it's not likely that there's any gold in it, but you never know, I guess. Yeah. So I'll tell you what we can do. I can put that big concretion on the and break it up and we'll just look at that. Yeah? Before we do any digging. 
All right. You got shoes in it? I'll get back to you in a second. So, before we even got here, we're going down the road and we just see these bunches and bunches of butterflies. The camera can't catch them real well, but it's just amazing and we're just baffled by it, wondering what the heck are they doing. So, yeah. Okay. So, Dad. Broke this conclusion thing up. Yep. Although, I don't really expect there's anything in it. Yeah, well. But you see, like, see all the gravel that's coming out? The big pieces of gravel, too. There's big quartz pieces right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so like Dad was saying, we didn't find much gold in the rock mineral thing in above. And we're hoping to find some more in this layer of dirt that used to be on the embankment more into the river. It's just not anymore because of raining and erosion. So we're going to try our best. See several pieces starting to show right there and right there. You see that? Mm -hmm. That's a bunch of pieces. Our theory was correct. What's our theory? That that's where the gold's coming from. Okay. Where? Right. Yep, that's our theory. So now what I'd like to do is that was all like surface level material, so I'd like to get. I'd like to get deeper, like straight down. Yeah. Those two bright specks right there. Look, you got one, two, three, four pieces. You see that? Yeah. It's 
pretty good, Emmett. Now that one scoop I just gave you, you got four pieces of gold. careful getting it out. Yep. Oh yeah. I'm gonna yeah, starting to see some little chunkier bits of gold there. Pretty good, pretty good. trouble with the camera sorry about that but it's all right okay this is a weird looking rock look at all this quartz that came out almost all of that came from one pan well but look at it you can see like you can see real jimmy pockets here. You see that? Mm -hmm. And then you can also see like there's just on certain of these pieces it's just they're thing there's just oxides that are rusting out of it. Yeah. And there's rust all over it. So it doesn't mean anything necessarily that we have a pan full of quartz. Mm -hmm. But we do know that here in Uari a lot of times the gold is found in the veins of quartz when it's in the in the mines. So it's always a possibility. Well, it's just very uncharacteristic that we have all these quartz, all these huge pieces of quartz came up out of the same hole at the exact same time at the exact same depth. Dude, you're like dumping all of your material out. This is a lot of material. No, buddy, you didn't even get to the. No, you. You gotta look. Watch. Watch what I'm doing. Watch this. Are you watching? You see my pan? No. How yeah. about now? <laughs> you gotta do like this. So it gets all soupy, so the gold can sink to the bottom. Okay, and then you let water carry the stuff on top away, like that. See? And then you do it again. What you're doing is you're dumping it all out, so you're not getting any of it. This is what I'm. This is what I'm doing. Mr. John. Um, pointed out, um, Mr. John pointed out that, um, my, uh, he asked me, um, for my Jim B. Jones costume, did you mean to look like Patrick Starr? Because in Spongebob the Musical, he's got a pink shirt and green shorts. And that's what I have. I thought that was a little funny. It is funny. 
like, no, I didn't even realize it. So I don't have as much black sand in this. Hey, stop splashing me. Yeah. It doesn't look like you've got much gold either so far. Well, I'm seeing it in the corner. Mm -hmm. Where I normally see it up there. There's a little tiny piece of crystal. I mean, I see eight pieces at least. Up in that one corner. In the right hand side, you see them? See them yeah. coming out right there? Yeah. Oh, and there's a little wiry bit there. A wiry? Yeah, so like a little piece of thread is what oh, it looks like. Yeah. You can see them? Mm -hmm. Not as many that time, but still some. <laughs> and get the same result. Even though this came out of a different spot along the embankment, I'm still getting a little dozen, about a dozen spots. But what's interesting is, I mean, those are those are tiny but the biggest one there and I ran into this on my last pans the biggest one there is not a flat dot it's thicker than the others Interesting. so what does that tell you it tells us that we're close to gold right yeah it tells us that we're like close to where potentially it's closer to the source yeah source because I remember a long time ago Papa told me that if we're gold panning and we find a piece of gold that's super duper flat and small, then we're far away from the source. But if we find one that's thicker, then we're closer because of water erosion and stuff. Well, gold is so malleable. Malleable? Yeah, soft. Gold oh. is so soft that if it's been in the water a long time and it's been tumbled with the rocks, the rocks just pound it out flat. Mm -hmm. So if you get a piece that's chunky at all, it means it hasn't been pounded in the water. Now, it still could have been here for many years. Yeah. But what that means is this, this quartzy layer right here is likely where the, what, the, what they would call the pay layer because not very far down, you get to rock and clay, like a hard clay. Mm -hmm. So, and everything that's on top of that is the slough from the embankment. So, but I got almost the exact same size of specs and spec count here that I did over there. Yeah. So, this might be a good spot to come back and work a little bit more. Yeah. With the sluice and right, the buckets and stuff. Back. Okay, so we're back at the house getting ready to do the cleanup. My dad's working on the cleanup already. So here it is. It's not a lot. Well, the point was not to find a lot. The point was to find where it was. Yeah. And we did that. We found the place where we were getting consistent, go consistent gold that were probably, you know, 12 to 20 specks in each pan. So... That was the point, was to find the, where the gold was. Now that we've done that, we'll get this little bit cleaned up here, and then we can come back later and, and do some more serious pan there. What the gold looks like when it's all dried up. Kind of. So, yeah. And here's that really cool piece of pottery that we old found. pottery found. And a really and a neat cool piece rock. of layered rock there. Yep. And so, yeah, stay tuned till our next video.